Greetings and peace to you. I hope you're well and in good health, of a sober mind and in spiritual equilibrium. Today we continue our recitation of Imitation of Mary, Chapter 24, Gratitude to God for His Blessings. Prayer God, infinitely good, till now you have given me so many blessings, both temporal and spiritual. In thanksgiving I offer you all the sentiments of gratitude which Mary felt throughout her life as she reflected on your gifts, but especially those she expressed when she entered the home of Zechariah and Elizabeth. Elizabeth praised Mary as she deserved, but Mary wanted Elizabeth to forget the recipient of God's blessings and to think only of the giver. Mary would have liked to unite herself to every creature in order to praise you, my God, and thank you for the favors you had given her. She regarded herself as happy only because he who is mighty has deigned to look upon his servant in her lowliness and to show how great and merciful he is. How lacking I am, Lord, in such sentiments as these, even though you have given me so many proofs of your love. I am not but an ungrateful man. I receive blessings from you, and I thank men for them. My plans turn out well, and I attribute the success to my own efforts. Most of all, what am I and what can I do with regard to my own salvation? Yet I do not think of thanking you for the great helps you have given me, so that I may succeed in this all-important undertaking. If in any way I am pleasing in your sight, it is due to you alone, and without you I cannot continue to please you. What a wretched and weak man I am! If your grace were to desert me, Lord, what would become of me? And to what dreadful corruption would not my evil inclinations lead me? There is no security for me except in the conviction of my own weakness and in gratitude for the graces with which you mercifully sustain me. My God, do not let my infidelity make me unworthy of your gifts, or in gratitude make me forget them. The great desire of your heart is to do good, but I know too that ingratitude is the fault that may most easily turn aside your mercies from me. So often I have deserved to experience no longer the effects of your mercy, but you have determined to win my heart over by your gifts. My great God, I will resist you no longer. Henceforth, I shall dedicate myself entirely to you. And as I live only by your grace, so too I want to live only for you. Be gracious to me and grant that, as my needs and your gifts are endless, I may also pass my life in unbroken prayer for your generosity and in gratitude for your blessings. God bless you. God love you. God's peace to you. Please pray for me as I pray for you.